Good morning everyone. It is 6.32 a.m. in the morning and I'm going to start off with a crock pot recipe. I started in the morning so we can eat later on tonight about 5, 6 o'clock. Um, this is a beef tip and I'm going to use two because I have a larger family but if you have a smaller family I would use just one. I'm going to season this with meat tenderizer. This is seasoned. This one, this one I use. If you want to use something different, that's up to you. But I'm going to sprinkle this on, and I never measure anything. So if you measure something, um, that's up to y'all, but I never measure anything. Um, I'm going to put my second beef tip in, and I'm going to season that one as well. So I can get it good and tender. Next, I'm going to use some bite-sized red potatoes. I'll show you what I'm using, but you can get regular potatoes and peel them if you'd like, if you don't like the skin. I love these bite-sized red potatoes. And I use a bag and a half. If you have a smaller family, use half the ingredients. Next, I'm going to use the whole bag of California blend. It's broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots I might have said cauliflower wrong but it's okay I'm human but now what I'm gonna do is just go and dump the whole bag in no regrets whole bag I also want to add that if you do have a small family and you go by my recipe because I have a big family you can always take whatever's left over and put it in the freezer and save it for next time or you can put it in the refrigerator and have leftovers this is actually a sauce that I use. It's four slow cookers. It's beef stew. And all I have to do is buy the beef and add the vegetables. I use three packets of this. I'm going to open it up and just dump it all on top. It's time for more seasoning. I like to use smoked paprika. And I'm just going to sprinkle that on top. And like I said, guys, I don't be measuring. I just sit there and eyeball it. Now I've dumped five cups of water into my crock pot. I am going to give it a gentle stir on top because the meat's at the bottom. Once the crock pot gets heated up the meat will tenderize then you could take your spoon and cut that meat up and then mix it all together now you can put the lid on and turn the crock pot on high all right guys it is lunch time and it is boiling like this oh my gosh it smells so good and i'm gonna tell y'all now, whenever I turn this crock pot down, I'm going to put it on low. It looks like I put it on keep warm, but I kind of went past the low part. But I put it on low. Three hours later. All right, guys, I'm going to stir this up to break that meat and get the vegetables and all mixed together. Later. All right, guys, this has been cooking about 12, 13 hours. It's 7 o'clock at night, so I'm going to just serve this over some mashed potatoes. It's all tenderized. It's ready to go. Now, you can sit there and serve this with rice, but I got me some loaded mashed potatoes, and I'm going to put this stewed beef right on top of the mashed potatoes. And I'm going to tell you, you can serve this with biscuits, 
buns, or even cornbread. I like my cornbread. Let me show you how tender this meat is. This meat is tender. It just breaks apart. Alright guys, I appreciate y'all cooking with me. If you try this meal, let me know how you like it. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.